Rest assured, Elizabeth, that I am innocent in the matter. That gives me great joy. For when you are honorably acquitted of the crime of which you are accused, then you shall have your army and your money. Cousin, put it out of your mind that I came to England merely to save my life. I came to recover my honor. If you dare to doubt my word that I am innocent, then I will go at once to France. You shall not. Madam, in the past, you have sheltered those very traitors who now rule in Scotland. They entered freely into England, just as freely they returned. Do you offer me less than my treacherous subject? Am I your prisoner? If so, by what law? If you forbid me to go to France, what will you do with me? I shall take you deeper into England for your protection. Then I am your prisoner. If you are innocent, what have you to fear? You have deceived me. You are in league with my brother. I will answer no accusations. Who is there who may try me? Who is my equal? Will you do it in public before the eyes of the world? No. You lack the courage. You hope to dishonor me. It is you who are dishonored. Did you believe I would send you back to Scotland at the head of a great army? Did you believe I would sacrifice my reputation on your behalf? It is not enough, madam, to speak one's mind in season and out as you do. That is not the conduct of a queen. It is the outpouring of a pampered woman demanding that all indulge her. It does not surprise me that you are here, helpless, and that your brother rules. You are not fit for the high office to which you were born. And you, madam, who hate me and wish me dead and fear to kill me, you are my mortal enemy. I have noted since the day you denied me a passport through England all the blows you have struck against me. I glory in your hatred, for it is clear to me that Elizabeth, the bastard, the heretic, the usurper, is cursed by God and will soon be too old to bear a child and will die a solitary old woman. Above all, it is clear that Elizabeth fears Mary. And whatever my fate, my son will rule here in time.